What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, just another PokeTuber, coming at you today with a battle from the UPA. We are the coach of the Piedmont Triad Kickers, and today we will be taking on All Blitz Timo, also just known as Timo, who is coach of the California tr Cast Forms, and his team consists of Kieran White, Lunala, Terra Pagos, Nine Tails, Alola, and for some people who are who are raising their eyebrows to the first three, um, the first three um, Pokemon, this is a Ubers um, draft league that I recently joined by picking up this team from someone else. So the first three games I didn't play, and I've only had the team for two weeks for the most part. But um, yeah, just want to just throw that out there. But back to um, Timo's team. He has Kieran White, Lunala, Terra Pagos, Ninetales, Alola, Grimmsnarl, Terra Captain over Corio, Galvantula, Suicune, Sceptile, Terra Captain Avalug, Eskew, and Terra Captain Camera. So, to combat Timo's team this week, we decided the best strategy was to have rain and electric terrain because I have three different Pokemon that depending on the situation they all three of them can be um, win cons in this game and you know I don't want to spoil y'all so I'm just gonna get into the team and then we can you know get to talking about it you know so the first member of my team this week is everyone's favorite appliance everyone's favorite washing machine in the BHDL he is known as the malfunction if you know you know my first Pokemon this week is none other than Rotom Wash. I am Damp Rock. Levit oh, he has Levitates this thing. Um, all these guys are going to have their Terra types on here because I copied and pasted the um, the stats. But just know only one Pokemon on my entire team can Terra. That's going to be the very next Pokemon to show y'all. But anyway, back to Rotom. This is his moment. Rotom, max HP, a little bit of special attack, max Spadef, so I could eat moves from like um, Lunala, Terra Pagos, mainly Lunala, who kind of just hits my team really, really hard. But if I can T-wave it and then just, you know, just be annoying towards it in general, yeah, I really appreciate that. Rain Dance. So my next Pokemon can have the time of his life in this game. And also, it slightly slows down Kieran White because his uh, one of his strongest moves is a fire type move. But if I rain dance, now you can't really click, you can't really click it. And then T wave, just so I can T wave the things that um, are faster than. Well, y'all will see in. By the time I get to my third Pokemon, y'all will realize who 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 I need to um, be faster than some things. And I have Volt Switch for pivoting and Hydro Pump because if I do get the rain up, that's going to just, it doesn't matter what comes in, it's going to just hurt no matter what for the most part, right? Anyway, to the next Pokemon, my Terry Captain, who's going to potentially have to carry the team on his back this week. But this big bird from Sesame Street just knows how to clap the team in the rain potentially. It depends what my opponent brings. But anyway, my Terra Captain is none other than Killer Watch Roll. Life Orb, competitive. I don't really know when competitive could get activated, but if by some chance it does, lovely, right? Because take my word for it, nothing really wants to fight a plus. I can't remember if it's a plus one or plus two, but regardless, boosted and has Life Orb, nobody wants to fight that. Um, it says Terra Electric, but it should say Terra Steel. This also says he has four EVs in his Spadef, but that should be an HP, max special attack, max speed, timid nature, thunder and hurricane, because if the rain does go up, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get it up, those two moves don't miss. And based on Calx, my opponent, even though these two moves don't necessarily oco a lot of things on his team, they do so much chip that it just gives room for something to come in. And there are actually a few Pokemon on his team that straight up get O-Code by Kilowattrel. And even though a lot of these hits will be neutral, he still just tears through a lot of things. And the things he don't tear through, well, he chips them so hard that whatever comes in next is almost, you can almost say it's a guaranteed kill. And just to remind people, Terra Steel, not electric. Terra Steel. That way we can hit Kyurem. 
his key room and then also things like you know nine tails we can o code that thing so it doesn't get up the aurora veil and you know stuff like that avalug one of his terror captains clapped eskew clapped um and then just you know there's other moves like uh hurricane septile doesn't want to take that uh suicune doesn't want to take that galvantula does not want to take that grim snarl does not want to tear blood i'm pretty sure y'all get where i'm going with this Killer Watch rule just does a lot in this game. I appreciate it, bro. Now, to get back to what I was saying about earlier about I need Rotom to T-Wave things, I need him to T-Wave things because the very next Pokemon can also be a win con, but I have to put him in a position where he's always going first. So, without a further ado, our next Pokemon for this week will be none other than the mighty Kieran Black. Loaded dice. Um see he actually got his ev spread right hp a little bit of hp max attack max speed jolly nature just so i i did want to go adamant but at the same time i didn't like the idea of being outsped by the um opposing kiram so i say you know what let's run jolly and if it comes out to a speed tie cool and if not i know for a fact scale shots even if i don't gd should kill that thing um and in general kiram's a win con in the sense that i remember when i was doing calcs if I get a chance to Dragon Dance, which is easier said than done, but if I get a chance to Dragon Dance, Kiram more or less auto wins me the game. We still have to get an opportunity to do that. And there are some things on his team that can actually just straight up Oko Kiram. So depends on the team he brings and, you know, the opportunities that present itself. But if Kiram can Dragon Dance even once, just know it's a checkmate moment. Game's over. I'm not going to get too in depth on that. Just know it's that simple. If I Dragon Dance once, just have it in your head, the game is over. Okay? Next Pokemon Pinch Church and Terrain Extender, Electric Surge, because, well, that's, you know, that's his thing. Max HP, a little bit of special attack, and Max Bedef, so we can sponge. Mainly because the main, main, the main things that threaten my team are like Lunala, who can just one shot a lot of my team just. For whatever god darn reason. And then Kieram White is also a, from what I understand, is a special attacker for the most part. And then, you know, you got things like Terra Pagos and stuff like that. Something I would love to be able to do is Memento on those Pokemon. And then send in one of my either Kilowatcher who's going to outspeed all of them and then let the, him clap. Or just send out Kieram and let him set up, you know. It, it's, you know, it just depends on the matchup, right? And I so, but my other moves, size memento, are surf, discharge. So I have another way to paralyze things. Rain dance because I personally feel like if you're going to bring weather to a game, you should have more than one Pokemon that can set the weather. Just saying. Um, so yeah, this is just another way to get rain dance up. And yeah, you know, pinch urchin just has three jobs: get terrain up. Actually, two jobs, potentially three: get terrain up, which he does anyway. Maybe Rain Dance if needed, and then Memento if needed. Regardless, he's going to live a hit just to be able to do one of those two. Just keep that in mind. So, on to the next Pokemon, who is uh, debatably one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 9. Not my not my overall favorite, but he's he's definitely up there. Definitely up there. Last, but not... not actually, it's not even last, not even least. But my next Pokemon is the great Iron Valiant who is going to be booster energy this week because as long as I outspeed things, it's a bad time. Um, Quark Drive, Terra Fairy. Actually, it's not even my Terra Captain. I'm just reading the thing. Y'all just don't pay me no mind, please. Actually, please pay me some mind. Just, you know, after, after just forget the last statement. Anyway, EVs for HP. Max attack, max speed, jolly nature with spirit break, close combat, shadow claw, and swords dance. If I SD once, the game it's is another situation where the game might just be over. Once again, easier said than done because he has things like Lunala who kills me, Terra Pacos who hits with Dazzle Gleam kills me, Nine Tails who yes I can probably swords dance on, but if I get with a moon blast I die. You know, there's, there's, there's a lot of ways that I can just get one-shotted. So, I have to be careful about when I click that Swords Dance if I get a chance to click it. But, ideally, if I click that button even once, everything just literally gets one-tapped by Iron Valiant. Easier said than done, still. The booster energy is primarily so in case anything is scarfed, I still outspeed it. 
and yeah and on to the last pokemon last but not least hopefully this is everyone's favorite gen 1 pokemon if not hey we all have opinions and you know some opinions are just better than others that's the, that's just the best way to put it so the next pokemon my personal one of my personal favorites from gen 1 if not my overall favorite last but not least the mighty the wicked gengar focus sash curse body cause that's his thing i honestly wish bro still got levitate like he did so many generations ago but you know pokemon couldn't make him too broken right cause curse body a little bit of hp max um special attack max speed timid nature with shadow ball sludge bomb because um, if I'm being honest, his team does not really switch into those two moves all too well. The only thing that really switches into Shadow Ball, the, th the things that switch into Shadow Ball would be Terrapagos, Grimmsnarl, but then I can just sludge, I can sludge bomb Grimmsnarl, who doesn't appreciate it, and then Terrapagos, I can sludge bomb him and then just pray that I poison you because that thing gets poisoned. What? I ain't gonna lie, it just makes Terrapago's job kind of hard. I also have T-Spikes because from when I was looking at his team, the only form of hazard removal I saw was Avalug. So if Avalug goes down or if it just straight up doesn't come, there's nothing making the T-Spikes go away because my opponent does not have a poison type. And if I'm not mistaken, he doesn't really have a he doesn't have a steel type either. So all of his Pokemon are susceptible to this unless they have uh, you know boots, obviously. And then I outspeed the entire team with Gengar, with the exception of um, Sceptile, who doesn't want to take a Sludge Bomb. And um, yeah, Gengar kind of just looks good in this game. T spikes and Destiny Bond for like anything that might get kind of you like you know tries to be a little tricky and yeah so this is the team guys and the only thing i have left to say about this game is let's just get this party started good luck have fun to to uh timo and thank you everybody for tuning in so far please like and subscribe if you haven't already and without a further ado let's get into the battle all right so he brought nine tails grim snarl kiram Oricorio, who is his Terra Captain, Terrapagos, and Sceptile. Hmm. 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 What comes first? If I had to take a guess, probably Ninetales. So, since I don't want to get um, which I'm gonna call it by nine tails. Actually, no, no, no. Let's keep a. You know what? Screw it. Let's do this. Because one thing we can do to hit Terrapagos, our loaded dice Kiurum can break the, um, break his, uh, I forgot the name of the ability, but it can break the ability and just keep hitting him. All right, good luck, have fun to, um, Artemio, sorry if I pronounced it. Yeah, sorry if I said that wrong. Artemio, Artemio. Either way, good luck, have fun, bro. Let's do this. All right, so he leads with Grim Snarl. All right, not really worried about that because I'm about to smack this kid. And then if he tries to, so if he sucker punches me, I'm just gonna set. I'm just gonna set um, toxic spikes. I don't see. Well, Terrapagos can clear him. But one thing I do know, we cannot let this. What does that do? So I just do that. Man. I 
don't really like that. But I'm going to Rotom now then. I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna uh bolt switch on him. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. And if you do send in um what's that thing called? If he does send in uh what's it called? Nine tails? I'm pretty sure we can eat a uh, um Dang what do you call it? Freeze dry. There we go. I'm pretty confident we can eat a freeze dry. Now, have I been wrong about that type of stuff in the past? Of course. Kieran. It's either we it's either we live this or we don't. We're max HP, max spadef. And last I checked, Kieran White thought so. Wait, what? Hold up, this move? Alright. And now we get that slow bolt switch. Actually, bro, I'm about to T wave this thing first. All that to the side. I'm about to T wave this thing. And now we're about to volt switch on this guy. Dang, Rotom, you were slow, buddy. But you know what? You had one job. You had one job, and I will say that you did your job. And I appreciate you, and that's all I need from you. Alright, so... If I'm not mistaken... Kiurum, even though Kiurum is, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? It's a Kiurum White. If I'm not mistaken... Let me look this up real quick before I do this. If I'm not mistaken, you're still dragon and ice. You're not like dragon and fire, so heck yeah, you're dragon and oh, you know what? I'm about to come in and just All right. Actually, no. Let's do this. It's Kiurum versus Kiurum. That's how it always was and that's how it always should be. Kiurum versus Kiurum. And. Because I think he's. Lo I think he's choice. I think he might actually be choice. So. Because why would you hit me with. No, I'm gonna take the chance. I think he's choice. Oh sheesh! We're about to learn something. <laughs> now, if he, if he, you know, if he, if he ice, if he doesn't. Oh sheesh! Okay, that came in handy. All right. Now let's just scale shot here. Because if he switches in um, Grim Snarl or um, what you call it? Dang, what do you call that Pokemon? Um, uh, the fairy. He has a fairy, not just Grim Snarl. Nine Tails. If he switches in Nine Tails, I'm pretty sure Nine Tails is four times weak. To um, actually, yeah, four times weak. So, Kieran, what are you trying to do? So Kieran, so in the battle of the Kieran's, Kieran Black came out on top. Okay, Kieran Black came out on top. And we're still healthy. Even if Grim Snarl has a sucker punch, I'm pretty sure we still live one of the. I'm pretty sure we live one of those since we're at full health. Cause Kiurum, I mean, hey, I ain't I ain't gonna use some inappropriate languages, but uh, there's one thing Kiurum's not. There's one thing Kiurum is not. So he's over here thinking if 
if Ori Corio comes out, I'm going to be very uh, on the fence about that thing. I set Rain with the idea of bringing in Killer Watcher, but then, bro, this is the only time I'm going to get like content of Kieran versus Kier. Terra Pagos. All right. So, this thing is here. Probably have Dazzling Gleam, if I had to take a guess. So, which of these two moves is going to hit harder? The answer is two to five times let's go for this this is literally why bro is here for the most part you are here because you can hit this guy more than once so let's start with breaking his whatchamacallit because even if you're even if you're scarfed on this thing which I doubt but even if he's scarfed we should still out speed because we're plus one speed right now Sheesh, that did a chunk. We just one tap to... Hold up. We just O-code of... Well, I mean, it's still multiple hits, but... In, I'm going to look at this as an O-code. We just O-code a freaking Terrapagos. Now, that is insane. Okay, Kieran. Ah, uh, hey, bro. This is supposed to be Killer Watchers video. Um, chill out. And this thing's about to die. Ooh, you're about to die. Ooh, you're about to die. Ooh, you're about to die. You're about to die. You are you are about to die. You are about to die. Oh sheesh. Okay. Um that's three for Kiram. That 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 paralysis actually uh, yeah, that is coming in so clutch right now. That is coming in so freaking clutch right now. Oh my goodness. We just gotta, okay. You drop my speed. So does this harshly drop my speed? Okay, harshly, it did. But I'm plus two speed. I was plus two speed, so you just brought me. Okay, so I'm back to neutral now, I should be. Because I dragon danced once and then I scale shot it. So that's plus, yeah, plus two, plus two. All right, so Kieran with four bodies. I believe is my is my are my numbers off I don't think they are all right uh yeah we're back to neutral speed so we should outspeed this thing that can happen wow that oh I forgot since he said I forgot Kirim's an ice type so my defenses are boosted yo I never once took that into account when I was thinking about this team so the fact that that's what's going on is lit wow I did not think this would be a I really saw this wow Kieran I did not see bro just still I mean it, okay what am I talking about this is a freaking Kieran I did not see bro still in the show like this okay what you about to tear into what are you about to tear into your Terra flying. Okay, so you're dead. Wow, Kieran said I got this. This was supposed to be a Killer Watchful video. This was supposed to be a Killer Watchful video. I guess they had beef behind the scenes, and Bruh said, "No, nah, I got it." Well, dang, that's crazy. GGs to um Artima Artemio. Bro, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name. name if I'm Oh my goodness, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, I'm so sorry. But GG's, bro, um, good luck in the rest of the season. And thank you everybody for tuning in. Until next time, peace out.